Finally, another hedge fund had to close down its doors because of us retail investors with AMC, GameStop, and the short squeezes that we are seeing happen every single day. Today's video, we're going to go over exactly what is going on specifically with GameStop, how they forced a major hedge fund in London to close down their doors, entirely give their investors back their money, stop shorting stocks in the future. We're also going to go over what is going on with GameStop's stock price, a couple of major events that are going to be happening this week, what's going on with the short squeeze, are we going to still see it rise even more than we already have and you guys know as always timestamps down below i don't want to waste your time so you can skip ahead any portion of the video all i ask is that you guys like the video and subscribe and if you don't already have the public.com investing app Make sure to go ahead and follow me on that. You can buy stocks, sell stocks, and see exactly what I'm buying and selling in real time, as well as a full portfolio breakdown. Think of it like an investing app combined with social media. It is completely free to follow me. Use the code Michael when you sign up and you'll get up to $50 in a free stock. But anyways, a major hedge fund in London called White Square Capital officially closed down its doors, returned all of its money in the major fund to investors after saying, look, our business model, we reviewed it, no longer works, so we're gonna return the money. And I don't quite believe all of this because they're saying it has nothing to do with the short squeeze with GameStop, yet they lost double digit percentage in January as a result of GameStop and its short squeeze. So I don't believe it entirely, but some of it is actually probably true. In addition to the Melvin Capital, Light Street Capital, we've seen a lot of major funds this year lose hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars during the massive short squeezes with AMC with GameStop and with all the other meme stocks and the rallies we have been seeing. So according to the CEO of the company, he said that the decision to close down is related to thinking the equity long short model is challenged. Shorting stocks really no longer is working for them. There are too many fish in the pond with the same strategy of long short and the traditional edge is being arbed away, um, eroded by other investors. And there's an oversupply of capital in the market. They said essentially there's uh, more information being um, told to investors that maybe previously people didn't know. And us retail investors are really stepping it up, getting in the way of hedge funds, institutions making their money, and they're not too happy. So they just decide, you know what? We have to close down our fund, return money to investors. This year alone, we are still seeing some major losses in hedge funds like Melvin Capital, still down 44.7% this year to the end of last month, and Light Street Capital is still down about 20% as well. So even though we are seeing that some hedge funds are closing down, which is a great day for people who are retail investors betting on GameStop, betting on AMC, we're still seeing some of them hold on, you know, just barely holding on, and we'll see what happens over the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, if we continue to see GameStop, AMC, and their prices continue to rise like we are seeing. But right now, big news with GameStop this coming week. Some things you guys got to keep an eye out on is what is going on with GameStop, their CEO. This is the first announcement. GameStop officially added their incoming CEO, which was officially started his position on Monday, June 21st. His name is Matt Furlong. He has experience with Amazon. He has experience in the tech world. This is what they've needed. This is what a lot of people are excited about. In addition to this, he has been appointed to the board, replacing the old CEO, George Sherman, and this is what they need in order to transition their business from a brick and mortar retailer into a tech business. Yet, in addition to this, the exciting news for today was actually what was going on with them issuing new shares. They had an at-the-market offering, about 5 million shares, and with this offering, they were able to raise about $1.12 billion most of the time whenever a company issues new stock, uh, new shares. The stock price typically goes down because it's diluting your equity, diluting your position in the company. But we know with the short sweet stocks, with the meme stocks, it's the complete opposite. Whatever you think is going to happen, probably the opposite is going to happen because what we're seeing with GameStop, they issued 5 million new shares at the at the market offering at about $225 per share, raised $1.1 million. Every single time we are seeing GameStop, we're seeing AMC, we're seeing any meme stock raise money. They're actually going up when traditionally they go down. But I think it's because what we're seeing right now is that everyone in the AMC and the Game 
GameStop community are excited about GameStop being able to reinvent themselves with extra capital on their balance sheet. Now, they have no long-term debt. They just have a couple of um, lease agreements that they still have to pay. But other than that, they have no long-term debt on their balance sheet. They have a lot of capital from us retail investors. And they're going to be able to reinvent their business long-term. And any news like that is positive because it means that they could just be around as a solid, strong company years to come, especially with the new CEO who has, who has experience in the tech world, especially with the new capital that they have been raising. In addition to this, other news this week is going to be with GameStop, which is set to join the Russell 1000. Russell 1000 is made up of the top 1000 companies, and it's pretty important thing that's going to be happening. The rebalancing is taking place on June 25th for the Russell indexes. And, and GameStop is moving from the Russell 2000 to the Russell 1000. So the important thing with this is that what we're seeing is that previously GameStop made up one of the largest positions in the Russell 2000. One of the largest ones, it had the highest market cap. It was really one of the main positions, almost about 1% of that entire index. However, now what we're seeing is that it's gonna move to the Russell 1000, which is made up of some of the largest tech stocks, some of the tech giants like Apple, Amazon. And because of this, we are probably gonna see them have a lot of selling pressure on June 25th when the rebalancing and reorganization takes place. So this is something just to keep in mind while we did see GameStop's stock price of about 10% for the day. We just gotta keep this in mind because over the next 48 hours and over the next 72 hours, as we know, it's gonna be joining the Russell, 2000, Russell 1000, there is gonna be rebalancing taking place. Means it's gonna be sold out of the Russell 2000, bought in the Russell 1000, and there's gonna be a lot less bought by by the Russell 1000 then was already owned by the Russell 2000. It's a little complicated, but just think, you know what made the largest position in the Russell 2000? Now it's going to be making up this one of the smaller positions in the Russell 1000. So they're going to be selling a lot more than they are going to be buying. So according to data, according to research, it's probably going to be about 5 million net selling for, uh, for shares of GameStop. So just something that we could see negatively affect GameStop's stock price just short term over the next couple of days. But either way, what we are seeing is that GameStop's, their short interest right now is still extremely high. It's gone up actually, 23%. You can see right here, gone up the short volume ratio. We are still in prime time short uh, short squeeze position. And for those people who are saying we are not going to see, see a short squeeze, it's not going to happen. That's just completely not true. We are still definitely able to see a massive short squeeze. We're seeing hedge funds close down now. It seems like every so often a new hedge fund is reporting major, major losses that they're hemorrhaging hundreds of millions of dollars. They can't keep it up anymore. And they either they claim it's their business model or they're just losing a lot of money and they have to close down their doors. So either way, right now, GameStop's in a great position. I wanted to let you guys know what's going on with that new hedge fund that was based in London that had to close down its major fund because they said it was was the business model. But in reality, we all know that they had to close down because of losing double digit percentage losses with GameStop stock and because of all of us retail investors. So that's what's going on with GameStop. We had pretty high volume today. We are still in a great position to see a short squeeze. And in my opinion, I'm still very, very excited about what's to come with GameStop between getting in the Russell 1000, between the new CEO being appointed, between them raising new capital and between the short interest still very, very high. Let me know what you guys think of GameStop, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please be sure to like it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.